Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am feeling wonderful today. It is, I call it Friday Eve. And I am blessed and highly favored. I'm just thankful to God to be awake and alive another day in this land of living. I call it the land of the living. But anyway, I want to talk about something and it is when people forsake you, when people forsake you, and God is always with you. God will never forsake you. And, um, you know, it's just interesting how in life, you know, with, with, with time, things change, people change. Um, you know, the people that you thought that were good to you or were really on in your corner, you know, or by your side can turn on you. And it's just, it's just, but you know, sometimes God has, has to separate you from people and from area, things in your life in order to allow you to grow, in order to allow you to learn. And without those experiences of life, you have no type of substance, meaning that you don't have, you know, the the thing that will allow you to know that if I ha if this happens to me again, if this uh, um, feeling, if the rejection, or if the mistreatment, you know, or the dysfunctional environment, or whatever the case that that is, or what it is, when you go through these things over and over again, and you know that you're still gonna come out fresh as ever, great as ever, blessed as ever, then that is allowing, God is allowing you to grow in that area, in that area. So what once, that thing that used to like depress you or bother you or make you angry and upset it is will, will eventually become that same thing that will allow you to say, you know what? <laughs> I've got I've gotten over that. That's that's beyond me. That's that's past me. That doesn't affect me. You know because you've grown. You've become stronger at that thing. It no longer bothers you. You have strengthened that muscle. So what used to be a weakness is now your became your strength. So God has to separate you sometimes and he has to pull you away and stretch stretch you into a new place and it's called acceleration. So when you when you are going through a rebirth and a transformation in your spirit, you can't no longer be around the little pigeons and the little the little birds. You know, you have to you you a, a eagle does not fly with birds an eagle does not fly with ducks you know you have to and not saying that you're better than anybody it's just that you're in a whole nother on a whole nother level your mind is different um you have a different mindset you know it's called uh, god is elevate when god elevates you he has to separate you because you are no longer a like your environment you can't be you can't you know you can't conform to the environment if you're going to grow beyond it so you can't conform to the to the patterns of it and the and the bible says be do not conform to the patterns of this world uh, and, but I'm looking at it in a sense that you just don't conform to the environment around you. And so people will reject you and think that you're, you feel like, they feel like, oh, she's better or he's better than me. Or he think he's better than me because he's moved on and, or, or it doesn't even affect him or he doesn't indulge with what I do or she doesn't indulge with what I do or she doesn't believe in what I believe in or he doesn't believe in what I believe in. And because you're not in agreement with that person now they don't like you so it's, it's just mighty funny how people don't like you or don't agree with you or reject you because you don't agree with what they do or you don't agree with their um 
logic way of thinking, their their way of thinking, or you don't do, or you don't agree with their truth. Okay, not the tr the truth, but their truth, or or you don't conform to their beliefs and I and and, and ideologies. Okay, so because of that, because you don't agree, you can't rock with them. They you they they're like no, I don't I don't deal with that person. I don't deal with that person and people will I mean are very sensitive and will definitely shun on shun you out of their life and reject you just because you don't agree with them on something just because you don't do what they say do you know it's kind of a sense of control too but anyway when God is for you who can be against you because God always said that he will never leave you or forsake you but when God has to separate you from things you know, it might be uncomfortable for, through the transition, but it's going to be worth worth it in the end. A lot worth it in the end. And you'll see that that the transition, the part where you have to transition, which is change, that process may not always feel so good. But you would love you would you would love the results once you look back and see that God had, where where He's brought you from. But don't look back. It's just that looking back allow you to see how far God has brought you from. But when you look back, don't look back at to go back. Look back as a way of rejoicing because you have grown in that area or you are growing in areas. And once again, you have to soar like an eagle in this life. You can't be complacent with the things of this life. You can be thankful for what you have, but you have to have a spirit of elevation and, 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 and transition to move forward to elevate to expand to expand and elevate in your spirit and when you do that within your spirit within your your relationship with God it's going to also reflect in the natural so the the desires that God has given you in the spirit is going to show up in the natural because it is it's a heart thing God is going to give you desires in of in the heart that means those desires are going to come forth and when his goodness come forth, it's going to, in the spirit, it's going to also reflect in the natural. And when God is blessing you, don't, you know, sometimes the blessings may not feel good. But just know that he is doing a great work in you. He's doing a new thing in you. And all things work together for the good. So I just want you to know today that when people forsake you and when they reject you, and they would betray you and they mistreat you um and and they ignore you and they they show them real their real colors just know that it's god's protection it's their rejection is god's protection so just know that it is a reason why god has to separate you so be encouraged be blessed and once again enjoy life enjoy what god has given you trust in god never leave him because he will never leave you okay i want you to be blessed because you are blessed and highly favored amen and amen love you